have a submersible water pump it keeps blowing the fuse and or tripping the breaker. It's pressure switch then a switch with a 15 amp screw and fuse then the electric box and it 15 amp. When the water pump turns on the lights go dim and sometimes it blows the fuse or trips the brake. I mostly leave the water off until need. Hello Julie. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I will be happy to assist you with your electrical question. My goal is to exceed your expectations on just answer. 1. Can you provide me with the full load current, FLA, or the motor horsepower of the pump? 2. What is the voltage of the pump? 120 or 240? 3. You mentioned that lights go dim when the pump is initially turned on. Is the pump on a dedicated or a shared circuit? What lights go dim? 4. What size is the branch circuit wire feeding the pump? Your electrician 41475.9113792708 one do not know two. Says 115 so I guess at 123. When the pump turns on and has its own circuit. Four. Fourteen. One and a half. Julie. Thanks for the replies. One. Is the 15 amp circuit breaker a full size single pole breaker or is it mini or tandem type, half size, breaker? The first one is a 15 screw in with a turn on and off switch, and the one in the box is full size single pole. Thanks again for the replies, Julie. 1. The National Electrical Code states that the branch circuit is sized to 125% of the full load current or horsepower rating of the motor. Since your motor is 120 volts at half a horsepower, the FLC for this motor equals 9.8 amps. Then multiply the FLC x 1.25 equals 9.8 by 1.25 equals 1225 amps. 2. If using a time delay fuse, code requires that the FLC of the motor be sized to 175%. Therefore a time delay fuse equals FLC x 1.75 equals 9.8 by 1.75 equals 17.15 amps. 3. Code also allows that the branch circuit breaker for the motor can be sized up to 250% if required. All electric motors have an inrush current upon the initial startup of the motor. For a few seconds, the motor requires a high amount of amperage in order to get the motor spinning at full speed. Once the motor is at full speed, the amperage decreases back to a flat line current since there is no more need for the inrush current. 4. Since the FLC for this motor equals 9.8 amps, this means that you could install a circuit breaker up to 24.5 amps, based on the 250% rule.9.8 by 2.5 equals 24.5 amps, or the next standard size breaker which would be a 30 amp. More than likely, all you require is a 20 amp breaker and 20 amp fuse. The motor in rush is nearing the borderline of causing the breaker to trip. If using a time delay fuse, the required 17.15 amps is causing the 15 amp fuse to blow. Thus the reason, sometimes the breaker trips and other times it doesn't trip. Depending upon the motor size, the breaker and or fuse protections needs to be increased. This is allowed in the electrical code and is a common application for electric motors. Increase the breaker and the fuse to 20 amps each and you should be good to go. 
The 14 AWG copper wire originating from the main electrical panel will need to be increased to 12 AWG copper for the hot, neutral and equipment ground wire. 14 AWG copper is rated for 15 amps and 12 AWG copper is rated for 20 amps. Your electrician 41475.9595019329. I will try what you said to do and we'll get back on a couple of days thanks. 1. No problem Julie. Dot, if you have any questions, just reply back to me on this question. No need to create another question. I'm usually logged onto the JAW site late afternoons and evenings during the week and on slash off during the weekends. 2. Take care. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Kevin. If I up it to 30 amp would be a diddle pole or a single pole I have a daddle 30 amp pole that I do not use would that work? 1. You mentioned that the voltage of the pump was 115 volts, therefore that requires either a full size single pole breaker or a mini slash tandem breaker. A full-size single pole breaker is 120 volts and not 240 volts. A full-size double pole breaker with a common tie handle across the breaker is for 240 volts. 2. If this pump is for a well pump, they are usually 240 volts and not 120 volts. I need to know exactly what you have otherwise my previous calculations will need to be recalculated if your pump is not a half horsepower at 120 volts. I based my previous calculations on a 120 volt pump based on your reply of 115 volts. If the pump is currently protected via a double pole breaker, that is 240 volts. Please confirm which voltage you have for the pump. Your recent reply mentions a double. 3. Attached is a pick of a full-size 120-volt single pole breaker. 4. Attached is a full-size 240-volt double pole breaker. 5. Attached is a mini-slash-tandem 120-volt breaker, full-size type, but is split in half. 6. Which of the above breakers is the pump currently connected to? Your electrician 41476.0784594213. The first pick. 1. Okay, very good. That is a full size breaker and is for 120 volts only. Therefore, my previous calculations are okay. 2. If you need to increase the breaker to a 30 amp, it will need to also be a full size 30 amp breaker for 120 volts. A 30 amp single pole breaker is not readily available at Home Depot nor at Lowe's. This type of breaker would need to be purchased at your local electrical supply store. If the pump requires a 30 amp breaker due to the inrush current, then the three wires, hot, neutral and ground, need to be sized as 10 AWG. A 20 amp fuse and breaker should take care of the inrush current. I suggest trying the 20 amp first. 3. What is the application for this pump? Is this for a well pump, sump pump, ejector pump, irrigation pump? What is the approximate distance from your main electrical panel to the pump location? Your electrician 41476.0871940972 Well pump in the ground about 70 feet down and about 30 feet from electrical panel to the pipe. Thanks. I just wanted to confirm the voltage drop for the 30 foot distance. Code recommends a max of 3% voltage drop, VD. I calculated using 14, 
12 and 10 AWG copper at 15 A, 20 A and 30 A loads. These are all within the recommended 3% VD. Therefore, no issue on voltage drops. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.